Hi guys, welcome to Piping Welding and DD channel. So this is um, isometric uh, symbols. Okay, so this uh, symbols is always C in the isometric drawing. So this is a typical uh, symbols. Okay. So we will start from here. So this is a gate bulb. Okay, and we have a slip on flange, and this is a weld neck flange. This is a lap joint, and we have a 90 degrees elbow. Okay, if you can see, they have a different from this gate bulb. So we have three gate bulb. Okay, and they have a different. Uh, symbols or different uh, joints okay if you see this dotted line so this is a gate bulb so this is a dotted line so it means if you see this dotted line it means this is a bat weld okay bat weld now this is a normal and this is a gate bulb also this is a normal so this is a screw joint okay remember this drawing this is a screw joint and this is also a gate bulb so we have a line here so this is a socket weld okay so this is a socket weld and this is a sleeve on flange and this is also um bat weld okay and we have a screw joint and we have socket weld this is a weld neck plans okay and this is screw joint and we have a socket weld so this is a socket see this you see the symbols so this is a socket okay and we have a lap joint and we have a 90 degrees L so this is a 90 so we have a 290 degrees elbow and this is a butt weld but they have a different symbols okay if you see this uh, dotted line without line you see the same date like this so this is a sharp weld and we have a field weld okay so this is a field weld and a sharp weld okay remember this and we have a union so this is a union this is screwed and we have a union of socket weld okay so next drawing is regarding supports so we have a different symbols on isometric that we can see from the supports okay and they have a different supports and also fittings okay so i will draw and check a note please so this line is a very important symbols okay so if you see these symbols in the line of isometric drawing so this is a flow direction okay flow direction so please um, take note this one and very important because if you installed a check bulb so this is a check bulb okay you must check the flow direction of the line so that the line of this check bulb is also with the same flow okay so we will draw here so this is a check bulb so the flow is if you see this this is a flow direction it means our flow is 
going here okay so this is a very important so next drawing is so this is a stop so this is in a support and we have also a guide so if you see the symbols so this is guide and we have a guide and shoes so if you see the symbols we have a guide and five shoe okay and also we have stop uh, stop and shoe and also guide so this is a stop and this is a guide and this is a five shoe okay So you are familiarized from this drawing. So this is a centric reducer and we have also a concentric so concentric reducer. So this is concentric and this is eccentric, okay? The difference is from this eccentric, the both uh, one side is flat. Okay, and we have also um, symbols of swage. So the swage is okay. So this is a symbol of swage, eccentric and concentric. Okay. So that's all for now guys and I hope you have learned regarding these isometric symbols. So this is a very important symbols from the isometric and have a nice day guys and see you in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe and comment my video. Bye bye.